uh, your early impressions of uh, of Sheldon getting back out there and moving after uh, you know, the way last year ended? Yeah, I think um, today he had a good day. Um, so we've had two days in pads, right? And um, he's improved. Um, I even think from last year, um, doesn't look like he's lost a step, uh, moving around pretty good. Um, but as you know, the reps can increase and everything. We'll, we'll be smart of how we're how we're getting him back. But man, it's it's awesome to see him out there, and he's doing some good things. And just from a from a mental standpoint, uh, you know, where do you think he is there? Just after the the two disappointing uh, ways of the last couple seasons ended. I'm, I'm gonna say um, I just think that he still is confident, and I think he's done a good job. I know he's done a good job in the last couple of off seasons. Even though he's had a couple of injuries, he's done a great job getting his body back, rehabbing, doing all the right things. So you're not seeing a apprehensive or a timid player out there. You're seeing a guy with a lot of confidence, still explosive. Um, so it's, like I said, man, he had a good day today. So it was really good to see. Next question's from Amos Morrell. Amos? Yeah, Coach, uh, when we got to talk to Marcus Davenport last week, he mentioned that, you know, one of his goals is to, to be better than Cam this season. And I'm curious, uh, has he talked to you about that? And have you gotten a sense from him that, you know, that's aiming for? Well, it's year three. So, you know, there's a maturity that comes with that. And he's played some pretty good football for us, particularly last year. And I think the confidence, you're seeing a comp, more confident player, confident person. And I think that's kind of what you're getting, when, you know, when you're talking to him and those those type of things, you know, that's – it's a lofty aspiration, but um, certainly he's got all the talent in the world to do it. Um, you're just seeing the more confidence, uh, how he's handling himself, how he's playing football. He just, you know, he's, and he's put on a lot of weight, so I know that's helped out a lot as well. And you mentioned, uh, you know, that confidence. I know you guys have only had two days in pads, but uh, have you seen that confidence translate into the way he practices? Yeah, you know, look, this is his third time going through, you know, camp, installation all of the things that we're doing on defense so it's not like he's learning new terms or you know we're not doing anything drastically different than the last two years so look your third time through um you know the repetitions are are adding up good for him meaning uh, he's done all of these things so many times you, you know now it's he's just playing football out there so that and that's a lot of where that confidence is is coming from next questions from nick underhill nick Coach, I'm curious, just with the, the strength of the secondary, does that change anything for you guys up front? What is it, how much does it help you guys? No, look, it's great. Anytime we can get an extra second or, or an extra step, it helps us out. You know, so um, those guys have done a great job. Our secondary is deep. Uh, and we're, we're really good back there. So um, as long as we can um, get to the passer a little bit quicker, uh, I think we'll have a better defense this year. And then just my other question, just shy title coming into the season, where have you seen some growth and where can he continue to get better? You know, a little bit similar to Marcus in that um, his, this is his second time through, you know, so there's nothing that, you know, we're not changing that position. He's playing the same position. So he's hearing the same things. He's getting the same blocks. You know, he played some good football for us last year as well. So that, that confidence is, you know, into year two. Um, so, look, I'm excited about this guy. Uh, he, did, he did a good job as well in the offseason of taking care of his body, getting bigger and stronger. Um, that's what you're seeing on the field last couple of days. It, do you do anything with Zach Bond at all? Does, does he ever work with you guys? Um, he's doing some, some stuff in pass rush, um, and, and he can rush, and, and he's done a good job with that. Um, but he's mainly focused on linebacker right now, but I know that there'll be a role for him um, a little bit more as we keep going. Next question is from Larry Holder. Larry. Hey, Ryan. I know this is across the board, but specifically, uh, you know, that uh, interior, uh, we've seen guys like Shy Tuttle and Taylor Stallworth uh, in previous years make the team because they played well in preseason games. How challenging that is that for you in that specific position group, given that's really where players can make, make some headway as opposed to in practice a lot of times when – you might be in pads, you might not be in pads, that sort of thing. Yeah, um, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge this year, obviously, with the preseason games. You know, like Shai Tuttle last year, his third preseason game, he really took off. Had a good preseason three, good preseason game four, and made the roster. Um, without that, what we'll have to do is manufacture some of those situations. 
um, manufacture some um, in, in individual, um, some things that some players to, to really see what they can do. So look, we're going to have to do that situationally and in practice. Um, and I know coach has got a couple of live periods coming up um, maybe for those guys down the road. So look, the whole thing, it's, it, we're going to have to evaluate really from day one to the lot to the cut down day on every single one of these guys. Next questions from Brett Martel. Brett. No, I think I said he might have left the call. Just heads up. All right. Next one will be from Amos Morale. Amos. Yeah, following up kind of on uh, what Larry asked. Uh, when, last time we talked to you about some of these undrafted free agents you guys signed. Um, all you had was Zoom meetings with them. Um, but now that you've had a chance to get some hands-on work with them, do you see some of the traits that you may have seen in the shy Tuttle that lent him the ability to find a spot on this roster? Um, I do. Um, there's a couple of guys that we have that I'm not going to name names because of we're not having preseason games. And, but, uh, look, it's been good, um, and they've done a good job. So I'll just go leave it at, at that. Next one's from Brett Martel. Brett. Yeah, hey, uh, Coach. When you said earlier that um, it was helping for uh, Marcus Davenport to gain weight, uh, how much of that was a directive to him from the staff and how much of it was uh, something he wanted to do? Um, how much weight are we talking about? And can you kind of explain why that's helping? Yeah, so, look, um, when, when he was drafted here um, – you know, is a cer certain age and, and certain weight. And we saw a vision for a guy as he grew, you know, not, you know, over time, you know, three years now. And he's at 280 around there, a couple pounds above, a couple pounds below, but he's holding that. And in this off season, man, he really worked. And he had the, he had a couple of these injuries and he put in the work in the off season. And you're just seeing a bigger, stronger, still athletic player out there. So he's able to do some things that we, you know, striking blocks and holding the point on the, the, the edge in the run game and, you know, being able to create some more knockback and more power in the pass rush, you know. So with that weight and keeping the athleticism, you know, that's where I think, you know, he's, he's really turned the corner of like, man, I really can do these things that they're asking me to do. Um, so, look, it's just a, a vision that, look, I, I give all the, the – all the credit to the scouts. They did all the work on this guy and, and coach saw the vision. And, and we've just had this player that has really bought into what we're doing um, and jumped in. And um, in year three, I mean, you're really seeing the maturity and, and the process of this guy, you know, pick up. So it's, it's, it's exciting. Now, look, he's still got to do it on, on game day. You know what I mean? Like consistently, you know, and he said he, you know, the, the cam thing, but we've got to, you know, now have that consistency on game day of every single game he's playing because there were games last year where he played lights out. I mean, he was – but then there was a couple of games where he took a step back. So now we got to just keep that confidence and that consistency week in, week out here um, and, and put together a full body of work. Next one's from Luke Johnson. Luke? Right. Uh, just one more thing on Sheldon. Uh, you kind of mentioned how he maybe even looks better now than he did he did last year. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's he's like a, a year and a half removed from from that Achilles now. I, I think you you hear often that that's like yeah, you know, it takes takes a little bit more than the, than the one season. Um, so sure. I give him I give him a lot of credit for what he did in in the off season of of training. I give our 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 training staff a lot of credit um, for working with him and getting him back because I'm still seeing the explosive and the power that he possesses, uh, which is exciting. You know, um, he's, he's moving, um, you know, without a hitch with, I mean, I don't, I don't see it at all. Um, and he's done a couple of things uh, that it's, it's been pretty exciting to, wow, man, he's way ahead of, you know, last time it, it, he took a little bit longer where this time I think he had, he already knew what to do. He just had to do it again a in a better way. And I think he did. Um, so, and, and, and that I think has given him the confidence that I've done all these things. Now I can come back and I, man, I'm, I'm ready to go. 
So it's it's exciting. It, it was man, like I said, today was a good day. He, he played really well today in practice. So um, we just got to put another day tomorrow, and then you know keep progressing from that.